a lot of Western headlines when they covered this summit, the China Central Asia summit uh, taking place in Xi'an last week. They focus on the narrative uh, whereby they think that uh, you know, Russia is preoccupied with this war in Ukraine and China is somehow taking over Central Asia. Um, how do you look at that narrative? So that narrative, it happens and uh, we see such criticism time to time. And I can say to you that uh, even 50 years ago, nobody in the uh, Western academia or different international research centers didn't believe that the China may become a global actor redefining the uh, global economy and financial system. So China approved that the China today can become a serious game changer in global politics. I would say to you that the criticism is a part of the recognition of success. Mm. <laughs> That's why success in politics worrisome. And the Chinese role, very constructive, very rational role, is irritating because China is doing very constructive, very rational things in building uh, the very pragmatic relations, not with the Central Asian nations, with the different global actors. Current process of the global development is uh, explained by, let's say, Central Asian scholars in very positive way because we see the pragmatism, constructivism, and rationalism uh, as uh, main uh, elements, main drivers for the global and regional changes. That's why uh, we have different views. We are in a process of the further improving regional and global relations, having such actor like and partner and neighbor like China. That's why that is very positive, very yeah. rational, very pragmatic for us.